I weigh all my clays so that I can uh, get the sizes fairly accurate, pretty uniform, so I can can actually uh, know. This is a pound and a half of clay, so if I can get this one to come out right, I'll actually put a spout on it and everything else. It'll, it'll be kind of fun. Did you make your will? Did you? I had it made. Um, a good friend of mine made it for me. I actually found the plans on the internet. It's a leech wheel made, uh, designed by a gentleman named Bernard Leach. And uh, I found the plans on the internet and talked to a friend of mine and he said that he would be consented to build. I gave him the materials. Yeah. He did all the framework and I did all the, the metal work on it. So. That's cool. Water is your friend. It helps make the clay really slippery. But also, if you get too much water, it can make the clay too soft and soupy. So you have to add water to it. You have to take water away, then add water to it, and take water away. You bet. I use them all the time. I have several bowls at home that I like to use. Can I ask you a question while you're doing that? Sure. The bottom of that, do you have like a counterweight in that that helps keep the momentum going? The flywheel on the bottom is the counterweight. Oh, okay. And uh, there, the, that particular counterweight, the counter, uh, flywheel is hollow inside. And so it, I can add some weight to it if I want to. If you look on, if you look at the bottom, it, there's two plates on the side of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, those plates are removable. The two on the side, the one on, on the outside. Okay. Okay. Those plates are removable, and there's four holes, there's four compartments in it, but I can actually add sand to that to make it heavier if I want. Now, now why would you want to do that, if I may ask? Um, I'm thinking, I'm still learning how to use this wheel, because it takes a, a little bit of practice to get, but I'm, if I add weight to it, I'll be able to throw larger pieces, because of the 
uh, momentum and the wheel, the mass of the wheel is there. So. Okay, yeah, because, yeah. Oh, interesting. And now, did you, you didn't make that stand yourself, or did, did you purchase that? I had, I had it made. Oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> so, Ron, Ron is without a kiln. Uh -huh. He, uh, he, he uh, lost access to his kiln about a year or so ago. So we actually, he's our favorite exhibit here. We come every year, we get pottery. Oh, wow. We use it all throughout the year, we love it. Oh, nice. But he can't fire anything. So we actually ran home and we started up a GoFundMe campaign. Oh. And so we're, we actually just got back and we're going to put his mug shot around a little bit and uh, he's, he's a little embarrassed because <laughs> he didn't ask for it but um, we'd love to have him be able to but we need more pottery <laughs> we, we need more pottery <laughs> can I get one of the little tabs off the yeah, bottom of that exactly. great so yeah we just That's put the... it up and we've oh, already that... had a few people donate donate on there. It's kind of nice oh yeah oh that is awesome yes but dollar or ten or five anything well, so. I appreciate you taking the time talking to me about it. That's very interesting. Okay, well, this piece, what I'm going to do, I think I decided that I was going to put a spout on this one. I'll show you. So when you get up in the morning and you can't figure out what you want to have for breakfast, I want to have some scrambled eggs. So you crack some eggs in a bowl, and now with this bowl, you can actually pour the eggs out. We, we, we have one. We like have that. one of those. <laughs> nice. We have lots of them. <laughs> now, the kind of kiln that he, he needs would it be like a fi uh, a fire type of kiln, or do they have more modern ones? I mean, get electric kiln. Oh, electric. Yeah, okay. I would like an electric kiln. A little more. A lot of those kilns have programmable timers and stuff on them, so you can actually program okay. uh, temperature rises and descents and decreases and stuff, cold times and whatnot. So, yeah. oh, that's good. So, my, my father used to like love working with clay, but he, he didn't do the, uh, the, teeth and all. the like, like the bowls and stuff like that. He did um, he did like chess pieces and stuff like that, and he always do the fire kiln and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna leave them alone, but that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Well, and the a kiln can be, you know, we're we're only we set the target for about fifteen, no, well, two thousand, which isn't, you know, that's, that's reachable. Not, that's that's yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a that's yeah. a decent kiln. We hope to get more, so you can even get a better kiln. Yeah, it's just it off just like that. My sister's been doing stuff like this. Not nearly as good though. <laughs> <laughs> it takes practice. How many? Yeah, she's gonna 